like to request uh, the reason we are all here for the uh, art exhibition 377 19 wall uh, i would like to request mr vibraj kapoor the curator of the exhibition uh, uh, and the owner of uh, gallery beyond to come and say a few words about the exhibition i'm so glad you guys are here i uh, what we put together is a small effort in the long long journey that these guys have of which they've been traveling for many years and i don't know how long it will take to reach some sensible place all the best to you guys uh i hope this is a successful show for the simple reason i think you need the funds to take what you're talking about bringing an understanding about what you are what this life is about and more so for the art world that i come from i'm also talking about freedom to choose for the art world it is not just freedom to live the way we live that is the both right but also freedom of expression speech in this case what we paint what we create when we do i want all that so let's hope things do work out in the very near future don't take too long and all of us put our heads together and talk about these things and let's see where it goes i'm glad you guys are here welcome kulte sahab the painter hone ke nate bhi ye kehna chahta hu ki film ek contemporary medium ये एग्जीबिशन में खड़े रह के मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि एक बदलाव में देख रहा हूँ लास्ट 50 इयर्स वॉट एवर आई बीन सींग यू नो नाउ ऑल ऑफ ए स्टूडेंट दिस टू फिफ्टी पेंटिंग्स दे शो मी ए चेंज चेंज इन द कॉन्टेम्प्रेरी वर्ल्ड यू नो और शायद हर आर्टिस्ट बदल रहा है और वो दुनिया को बदलने की कोशिश कर रहा है कशिश का मैं धन्यवाद देना चाहता हूँ कि उन्होंने ये दो विजुअल मीडियम को एक साथ लाया है और आप जो काम कर रहे हैं जो फ्रीडम के बारे में आप सोच रहे हैं शायद ये फ्रीडम एक ऐसी बात है जो खुद को फ्री करती है और साथ साथ औरों को भी फ्री कर देती है ये दिल से कर रहे हैं आप इसके लिए मैं आपको धन्यवाद देना चाहता हूँ Thank you, Kolte sir. I um, mean, uh, the many students of Kolte sir are here, of course, and they are, it's a privilege to have uh, Kolte sir. And in this particular exhibition, there are 271 artists, uh, and the many of them uh, who are with us uh, here. But I would like to actually call upon one a uh, very well-known senior artist, Brenda Miller, to come and speak a few words, please. First of all, I don't think I'm a senior artist, but uh, but thank you. <laughs> Uh, secondly, I think I, as Vibhu says that I should be talking on behalf of all the artists who are here, all the participating artists. We are here for a reason. There are some who are from out of town. I see Ganesh here, and uh, we are here for, of course, the cause. And we are also here because of Vibhu, who is uh, putting together this show, and in and it's so beautifully hung. It's just uh, a lovely show. and uh, i'm honored to be part of it thank you thank you so much and uh, you of course are welcome to uh, take a look at all the brilliant artworks we have a month long uh, exhibition show uh, so please tell your friends to come to the exhibition <laughs> mm. 
connects in more than one way, two ways. Okay, this started with Kashish putting the first, taking the first step, okay, we'll do a collateral event over here. And obviously I said, let me do what my core competency is, which is something to do with art. But what I realized when I was putting this thing together was, there's a lot of learned process even in the way a show like this comes across, the number of artists put together, the number of diversity of work that you see on the walls. So I'm hoping it, it lifts, it brings a certain amount of joy de vivre in the art industry, which has been lacking for the last some years. Not only that, but I also think a lot of artists will be looking at things over here and probably learning a little bit about too. I mean, apart from Kashish has been uh, working in terms of the medium of cinema, trying to create awareness, or also through the medium of literature. But I really thought it's important to uh, really kind of broad base the uh, discussion. So uh, art as a medium, to actually communicate uh, different ideas, mainly about the right to choose and right to freedom. I think it's really important this art show brings together 271 artists together. And it's a massive show of strength of uh, artists who say that we believe in our freedom and we should not be stifled. Uh, and I think that's really key. Each painting actually speaks uh, to you uh, directly. And um, what is I feel personally is that what is uh, said is much lesser than what is unsaid. So each viewer can actually take back uh, something more uh, uh, by just being part of this whole experience of watching these artworks. When uh, Vibhu Kapoor um, invited me to participate in this exhibition, I was very elated uh, that uh, this is the first of its kind show concerning uh, Section 377 and uh, that uh, so many artists have all come together to pass, participate uh, not just uh, in terms of uh, solidarity as a vocal support but in terms of actually sharing a work the contribution is very uh, tangible and uh, also permanent in a way that it is a record of having stood by something like uh, the scrapping of Section 377. Uh, I think the art community was always supportive because, you know, if you are an artist, the first thing that you believe is in freedom. Because unless you're free, you can't express yourself. So in a sense, the artist community has always been for freedom. Freedom to be the way you want, live your life the way you want, love the way you want. So, I think we were just all waiting for this opportunity to say what we wanted to say on how we felt about this. And uh, like I told you earlier about my work, when I said the weak social fabric is, it's not just that the LGBT community suffers. The entire society is incomplete if you cannot integrate. You know, acceptance has to be whole as a society because then it shows up in other ways. It's uh, like Pallav told me once, he said that, you know, what happens when a gay man is forced to marry and have kids? Does that not affect his social fabric? So I think we have to look at it in its entirety and it's something that artists, writers are anyway able to do because they are anyway living lives out of boxes. I think it's important firstly to have that dialogue because often people don't want to talk about these things. You know, so that is one aspect. The other aspect is to create awareness 
and uh, to make uh, people feel okay, okay to be themselves and okay to talk about their issues openly. I think that is important. And uh, I think as artists we should support any uh, freedom of expression, anything where uh, people are not allowed to speak because that is a basic right. So we need to um, encourage that. I just love all the work that I've seen here today. I think the emotion that they all convey is hope and the belief in a better tomorrow. The LBGT movement in India has seen so many ups and downs over the past few years, right? We've had moments of great elation in 2009 when the, when the Delhi High Court decriminalized homosexuality. Um, we've had moments of such sadness and depression some years later. But what all the works here are collectively telling us is that to be hopeful that tomorrow will be better, that this world will be more free, that India will be a country in which all of us are recognized as equal citizens uh, with the same rights. Um, and this outburst of creativity just gives me a lot of hope that the artists, the citizens, the people of India um, don't discriminate. And so I think it's about time that our courts uh, and people who make the laws kind of catch up to it. The society will become very uh, bold and free and maybe fortunately or unfortunately aggressive, you know. I think it is a time to become aggressive. I see a change. I mean, they are, to, they are going towards change. It, it's not change. The contemporary art world is not changed yet. But there is a kind of sign of change in this painting. You know, because here you can see a senior painter, uh, from senior painter to a young painter, you know. So that is the uh, view one can have in this exhibition. And people like Kashish, I mean, the uh, organization like Kashish and painters, if they come together very often, I think there is a quite possibility to uh, change the world. And what is interesting is in the 290 paintings uh, on the exhibition here, I think at least around like many of them are for queer, but some of them around at least 10, 12 of them I've spotted that are really gay or lesbian focused. And uh, that's really interesting. The other interesting aspect is like this. Uh, Hinduism, uh, Christianity, Islam in different paintings, so it kind of brings together a lot of religious uh, context also into the paintings. I think it was a great effort by Kashish and Gallery Beyond and uh, Bibu Sir. I have known Kashish uh, activities since some years and I think they are doing a great service to humanity and showing compassion to the people who are less accepted in society. I think that's a big, big, big uh, worldly goodness, absolutely. Three cheers to them, really. It's quite a wonderful experience coming here and seeing so many works under under one roof and getting a experience something which is simply out of the world. Thank you. Actually, we never thought, like, we, we said, like, okay, we're going to do this art exhibition. We thought we're going to kind of uh, have this uh, uh, opening night. But we never even imagined that there's so many artists who are going to come together, first of all, for the exhibition, but also to be present at this art opening to lend their support and talk to us, talk to the media, talk to the audience. So it's been a fabulous evening uh, with also the Kashish pop up screening, uh, performance by Jenny Bhatt. And of course, like I'm talking to so many artists like Prabhakar Kolte, Brinda Miller. So it's been an exhilarating uh, experience this evening. And I'm sure this exhibition is going to rock uh, for a month now.